Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Terraforming Mars. This is an engine building game where we are trying to do just that. We're trying to make the heat, the oxygen and the oceans all across the planet meet the standards that are required for life on Mars. So I'm going to be playing the solo game today. Uh, I recommend that you turn on the Klingon subtitle channel and if I've made any mistakes that I haven't caught there then they will hopefully be noted up there and if you have any mistakes then uh, please could you leave timestamps so that I can put them in uh, and help everyone else out. So I am the Inventrix Corporation. You play as a corporation in this game that has you know vested uh, financial interests in uh, terraforming Mars itself and you start off with 10 cards and you go through them and pick which ones you want and you have to pay for the ones that you keep. It costs three money for each one that you want to keep. I've already done that to speed it up a little bit and we can go straight into the actions. So the point of the solo game uh, the, the main game ends when those three conditions are met that I mentioned. The solo game lasts 14 generations, 14 rounds, no matter what. And we need to meet all of those conditions by ourselves. And also, we, uh, we need to try and get the best score that we can as well. So we skip these two phases in the first round and we go straight to the action phase. So we can play a card from our hand and they've got costs and requirements associated with them. You can use standard projects that are over here. You can use these all of the time. If you've got any blue cards out, you can use the action that is on those. Uh, you can convert plants into greenery tiles that go on the board. You can convert eight heat into increasing the temperature a step. And uh, normally you'd be able to do milestones and awards. They're not in the solo game, so we can just completely disregard those. Oh, by the way, I should mention that uh, this is just kind of a playthrough so you can see what the game is like and whether you might like it yourself. It is certainly not a strategy guide. And as I said, you know, Klingon subtitles, there may be mistakes. So let's just do things, shall we? So I have, I, since I'm the Inventrix thing, my first action has to be to draw three cards. So what have we got here? We've got Search for Life, Water Import from Europa, and Power Plant. Ooh, these are quite nice. Should increase your energy production for nothing. Well, for four money. But I started off with 45. I paid 15 for the five cards that I kept. So I have all of this business now. So what would I like to do? Search for life is quite nice because it's, it's like it's, it's random, but it may be worth uh, it may be worth three points if I can draw the right card. But I have to put it out before oxygen reaches 6%. I've got time for that. But the sooner I put it out, the sooner I can start using it. Let's just do that, shall we? So to play a card... It costs three money. The requirement is oxygen can be 6% at most, which it is. Well, it's 0% at the moment, so I will pay the three. And the way, the way things work in this game, these, these cubes are my color, and they track my production at the end of each round. So everything is currently zero because my starting corporation didn't change any of that. And then the amount you have of everything is represented by these three types of cubes here. So these are ones, the silvers are fives, the golds are tens. So everything is represented by those cubes. So that's out now. And as my next action, oh, it, it goes in its own pile. So you have, uh, there's three different colors of cards. There's events, which are red. There's project cards, which are blue. And then just, they're the ones that have actions on and then they're just standard green ones that get put out and they will stack so you know what uh, what symbols you've got out. But they will go in the blue stack so it costs me three money to put out and then let's use the action of it. Use one of my cubes to say that I've done it because you can only do it once per generation, each action on these blue cards. So it costs me one. And I get to reveal and discard the top card of the draw deck if it has a microbe tag, which is that then I can put a science resource on this card. So the card that I draw, it does not have a microbe on it. It's got a little animal paw print. It was some fish. So we aren't getting the fish now. They're in the discard pile and we have not got a science resource there. All that's going to do is give three uh, points at the end. I think next we're going to do power plant. That's going to cost four money and it is going to increase our energy production one step. So rather than producing no energy at the end of the round, I now produce one. And this symbol here relates to the steel. We can, we can build certain buildings when, uh, when steel is required and get, it counts as two money you know, when, uh, when we have that to spend, which we don't at the moment, but maybe we'll produce it and be able to get discounts later. And the same for the titanium here. If, uh, if we have things with this symbol on it, we can spend titanium to get, uh, which counts as three money each time. 
I think next we're going to have some artificial photosynthesis. I'm going to put this out for 12 because I want to start getting the plant production up really. So it's on one now because maybe that's the way we're going to do all of the plant terraforming on here. We don't really know what we're going to draw yet. So I think these I can save because they're very expensive and I don't meet the conditions yet. Now this costs 11. It would be nice to have the heat production on four. So it decreases the energy production by one, but increases the heat production by four. Now I can discard a card to get a money and then I would have all of that, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Now I could do this. I could put this out for three and then use its action to increase the energy by one. Or I could just put this out and increase the heat production two steps. Yeah, let's just put this out. So events just go straight face down. I'll spend nine of my last 10 money. So I've only got one now. This goes down there and my heat goes up by two. So I've got no money now. So I think I'm just gonna pass. So now we have the production phase, gain resources according to our production parameters. And money, that is our terraforming rating. In the solo game, that starts at 14. So I have now got 15 money altogether. We don't produce any steel or titanium plants. We produce one. Okay, for generation two now, we can move on to the first. We don't do the turn order phase, obviously, in a solo game. Uh, research phase, we can buy cards to hand at three money per card out of four. So we draw four cards and we can buy any of these for three each. Decrease your energy production two steps. Increase your plant production and your terraforming rating because that goes up when you make changes on the planet. So this would cost a while to afford, but raise temperature three steps and gain four steel. Remove eight plants from any player. So it would be quite nice for the terraforming rating it would give me. It would increase my terraforming rating three times. This just raises it two and only costs 14. I could do that, This I couldn't do it because I need to spend the three to uh, to afford the card. I don't think any, I want any of those. So I'm just gonna discard those and let's do some actions, shall we? So I've only got 15 money. Oh, I take that off to show I haven't done that yet. So I could try and get my GHG factories out as quickly as possible. And so in a couple of rounds, I'll have the energy to do this. I think I'll do that. So let's put that out for 11 money. And that's going to decrease my energy production, but increase my heat production by four. So next round, in, in fact, I'm going to be able to uh, increase the temperature and start increasing my terraforming rating. And hopefully things will uh, spin out of control from there. Now I've only got four money. So I can't do anything else, really. I could put that out, but I wouldn't get to activate it. So is there any point? I I could search for life. So this might be where I waste all of my money for the game, but uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, I have had it in uh, in the full game, the full two-player game we played as well there. And I wasted uh, every single round doing that and never found one. So there is one microbe. Ad on advanced ecosystems, at first I thought it was just in the requirement, but there we go. So that is, that's very nice. Oh, it requires you to have a lot of stuff out. So I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the card. <laughs> yeah, it gives you three points. If you already have those, you can play this and it would give you three points. But that is a microbe card. So we can put a thing down here to show we've found a science tag. Uh, three points is going to be ours at the end of the game. I'm actually just going to put a gold up there to show it because this is going to get... Uh, I could just cover this up now, couldn't I? Because I don't need anything else to be there now. Right then, so we've got three money. We could still put out the space mirrors, but I don't think I'm going to. So we do production again. We produce 14 money as before. Nothing, nothing. We produce one plant again. And no energy. Oh, energy gets turned into heat. We don't produce any energy anymore. Heat though, we produce six. So we're on to round three already. Let's draw four cards. And some expensive things again. So ants, remove a micro from any card to add to this card and there were some points. Increase your energy production one step and gain two titanium. Now that could be good for later. That could get me discounts on things like this water import from Europa. The immigrant city looks kind of nice because we could put more cities out later and 
maybe get our money thing going, but we'd need to put some energy out first. I don't think I want any of these either. Actions, I'm gonna get the space mirrors out. So that's gonna cost me three. And then I'm gonna use the action for seven and increase my energy production. I am going to convert eight heat into a raise in temperature, which increases my terraforming rating. That goes up to 15 now, so I'm gonna start generating a little bit more money at least. I can't do that again, sadly, because I've got seven money. And so I think that's it for this round. Okay then, so production of money, it's 15 now. Then nothing, nothing, another plant and an energy and six heat. Not quite enough to do it again, but close. Generation four, draw four cards. So what have we found? Plantation requires two science tags. We've got two science tags. Place a greenery tile and raise the oxygen a step. That sounds beautiful. Probably keeping that. Black polar dust, place an ocean tile, decrease your money production two steps and increase your heat three steps. That's nice as well. Increase your energy production, increase your money production, place a city tile on the Noctis city area. And that's nice, but I don't think I want that. Adaptation technology, your global requirements are plus two or minus two steps. I have that already, actually. It hasn't come up yet because I don't think anything uh, really cared. But uh, we'll get there. We haven't seen any uh, corporate uh, cards yet. There, there are like, special cards mixed in. There are more advanced cards, but uh, yeah, they haven't come out yet. So I think I only want one of these. I can take both because we need things that put ocean tiles out. Yeah, I think I'm going to take both of these and pay six money because I can still afford to put one out. Although on the downside, it means I can't do my uh, my energy product. I wouldn't have been able to do that and buy, and buy just one of these cards. So I'm going to do plantation because that's going to do the most in one big chunk. So that cost me 15 out of the 16 that I have. And... So I needed two science tags, which I have. Place a greenery tile and raise oxygen a step. Okay, so I'll grab a greenery tile. They normally have to be placed next to things that you own, but I don't have anything out yet. So I could place it. I could place it somewhere and get a card. I could place it somewhere and get some plants. Maybe that would be a good idea because then I can, I can start to earn more and more plants, maybe. Now let's put it. Let's put it over here and then maybe we can get something here because you get points for cities that are surrounded by plants so maybe I want to do that. These started by the way on the board just for the solo game. So I get two plants for doing that which is nice. We are at five now so not too far off being able to put another one of those out. And for placing the greenery we get to increase the oxygen which increases our terraforming rating. And I think that's it for another round. Uh, I've run out of money. But we are going to have uh, we're going to have more things to do next round because we've got a lot here. So the terraformer rating is sixteen now. So getting a little bit more money every time. Nothing here still. We get another plant. The energy gets turned into heat, and we make another energy, and then we get six more heat, and we're ready for number five. So four more cards here. Okay, so we can put a colony out. The hired raiders is oh, there's a corporate card. It steals things from people. Uh, it does. There's a kind of an imaginary player in the solo game that you can steal stuff from. Uh, it wouldn't really help me though. The small animals would be good for points. Power grid though, I wouldn't be able to play it this round, but it would increase my energy production for one for every power tag, which would be three. Three more energy production would be nice because then the ore processor spend four energy to get a titanium and increase the oxygen. You know, all works together quite nicely. So I think I'm going to buy that, even though I'm not going to be able to play it this round. So that costs me three to keep that. And I could do this this round and increase the energy that way. Because the energy all also counts towards heat, so it works together quite nicely. So let's spend eight of the heat that we've got to increase the heat on the planet again it's minus 26 now and we'll get uh, we'll get some rewards as uh, as it goes up and the terraforming rating goes up 17 now and so i don't think it's worth putting the ore processor out now. i think it's worth saving the money 
for now. This though, we could put this out and then, let's see, we're earning 17 money. So I would have seven left over, 24. I'd still be able to buy a card if I wanted to and get the power grid. So let's, let's increase the energy production while we can. So it costs seven money and we now produce two energy. Okay, we're ending again. So we get 17 on the money. Nothing, nothing. One more plant. The energy slides over and we get two more. And six more heat. So we can do that again this round as well. So generation six, draw four cards. So we could buy up to two and still afford things. So you need 3% oxygen for that. Although I can change, can't I? Yes, I can adjust. I can pretend my oxygen is too high or, or the requirement is too high or lower. Deep well heating, increased energy production and the temperature one. It's nice. It would be nice to get out before the power grid maybe. It makes it go up one more, but is it worth delaying it a whole nother round for that? Decrease your energy production and increase your money production too. When you play a space card, pay two less for it. That would be nice to try and get this out because, because this at the moment is the only way that we can get uh, ocean tiles out. Well, at a discount, we can pay 18 a time for them. That's just another points thing. Uh, raise your terraforming rating. One step for each Jovian tag you have, including this. At the moment, that is none. That would be one. But it's a way off, isn't it? It's expensive. I think maybe this is good and maybe we will delay the power grid. So I'm going to take that one. Spend three money to do that. So we're on seven plants, can nearly do that. We have got more than eight heat though, so let's get that done while we're here. So the temperature is going up now to 24 and we now get this bonus and it's all, you know, this game's very nice uh, for, you know, trying to represent the science of all of this, you know, as we increase the temperature, it makes a greenhouse warming effect and that's why we get some bonus heat from it. So I get a heat because I did that and my terraforming rating goes up again to number 18. So I, I don't think it's worth waiting though. I think I'd like to get this out in the future, but I don't think it's worth waiting to do it just to get one more energy production on this. Is it though? So we can just leave this off until you know way later. And it's just a nice little extra we've got. So what we could do is put this out and then increase the energy production with that. And then we'd still have enough to do the power grid next round. I think I'm gonna do that. So let's put deep well heating out. That costs 13 out of the 21 that I've got. So it increases the energy production one step to three now and the temperature by one step, minus 22 on Mars now. And terraforming rating always goes up when we do one of the main things. So that's the end of the round. I get 19 money. There, nothing, nothing. One more plant again. We have eight. Uh, that slides across and then we get three energy and we get six heat. So we can do that again as well. Generation seven. Okay, four cards. Oh, we've got some cheap ones. So let's bear in mind that we want 18 for the power grid, unless we want one of these out first. Let's just think, if we, we've got 27 money. So let's see, ecological zone, you have to have a greenery. I have got that. Place this adjacent to a greenery tile, a point for two animals. When you play an animal or plant tag, put animals on this card, so it's good for points. I'm worried about even being able to win the game though. Insulation, decrease your heat production any number of steps and increase your money production that many steps. An action that would let me draw cards for money. Energy tapping though, oh, this is brilliant because it's another energy symbol for this. And you know, you you pretend you're decreasing the dummy player's energy. It loses me a point though. That could be a big deal. But I like the idea of it. I'm gonna take that for three money. Then let's play it for three money. And we decrease the dummy player's production and increase mine. 
Then let's play the power grid. So that costs 18. And I increase by one, two, three, four, five. So I'm now making nine energy. So the heat is just gonna go crazy. But unfortunately we need to focus on uh, greenery and oxygen and stuff as well. So that is my money done with. So I only have three left, but I do have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can place a greenery tile. It has to be adjacent to something I own and I own this one now. I think I'm gonna try and form a ring around here and then maybe put a city tile here if I place one in the future. So I plop that down, oxygen goes up to 2% and I get another terraforming rating. And then let's spend eight heat to increase that again. I get a bonus heat for reaching that space. Oh, I've got seven, so close. And that also increases my terraforming rating to 21. So we're getting somewhere I feel now. Uh, at the end of the round, let's do production. So we have 21 cash coming in. Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, one plant. The energy slides over and nine is coming in. And then we are producing six heat. So this, if we can get this out this turn, we can activate this every round with the energy production we've got. And still keep increasing the energy production. So let's slide over to generation eight. So we're past the halfway point. Some new cards. See, so we need three ocean tiles and you lose two plants, get two plant production, that would be lovely. Uh, just draw two cards, maybe. Increase your money production one step for every two building tags you have. One, two, three, four, that could be nice. To get more money production, requires four degrees, minus four degrees or warmer. Increase your plant production three steps. That would be brilliant, but for later that is still four five six seven eight steps away and as fast as i think we're doing it i don't know whether we should buy that we could though because i was planning on spending 20 money on putting this out and then doing this but we don't potentially need all of this energy production. I might be just wasting it now. So I think I'm gonna get both of these cards and let's just hang on to the trees until later. So we're gonna get more plants, will help the oxygen as well. So I need to spend six to buy those two cards. Get rid of these. I'm definitely gonna put this out, 13. And let's activate it. Spend four energy, one, two, three, four, to gain a titanium, which we can use for discounts later, maybe on something like this, and increase the oxygen a step. So the oxygen is now at three and the terraforming rating goes up. We have got 16 heat, exactly. So let's increase that twice as well. One, two and terraforming rating goes up one, two for that. I think that's it for that round. So we have 24 money coming in. Nothing, nothing, one more plant. Energy slides over, nine on there. And then six more heat. So we can do that again. Every other round we'll get to do it twice, I think. So generation nine, four new cards. see we have to do this before 12 percent. when anyone places an ocean tile gain two plants oh maybe do we need that ai central you need three science tags to play decrease your energy production and you get to do an action to draw more cards oh it's a it's a I, I like the idea of that because this is the last thing we need to draw more cards would help us because maybe we could get some cards that would help us put the ocean things out when any city tile is placed, gain two money. I don't think I want that. Domed crater. Uh, oxygen must be 7% or less. That's fine. Gain three plants and place a city tile. Decrease your energy production and increase your money production. And, and both of these have the building tags on them that I want for this. Increase my money production loads. I still have 23 money if I buy both of these. 
Yeah, I just hope I'm not getting distracted by a plan that I had a while ago. So I'm going to spend six on those. And I think what I'm going to do is play... Oh, no, I can't play AI Central, can I, this round? Yeah, I need to put the medical lab out to do that. Oh. I've got 23 money. So we actually have to leave it a little bit, unless I... I could try discarding a card so that I could afford the domed crater, but what do we get rid of? Maybe this, but <laughs> that was a waste of money earlier, wasn't it? All of these are waste, because they've all cost money, apart from maybe if I'd drawn one for free. I think maybe this was a mistake. I'm going to discard this for a money, and then spend all of my money putting the domed crater out. Because it's going to do a few things. So, that is all of my cash. Okay, so gain three plants. Place a city tile. So this just has to be not next to an existing city. I'm going to place it here so I can get the two bonus, whatchamacallit, plants. Put my, put my ownership on it. Decrease your energy production a step. Well, that's fine. It's really, really high. And increase money production three steps. So in addition to the terraforming rating, we now earn some extra money. We are very poor though, so let's do this. Spend four energy to gain another titanium and increase the oxygen another step. So that's on four now. Terraforming rating goes up to 25. We're on seven plants, so close. Uh, we do have eight heat though, so we can increase that heat again to 14. And that's another terraforming rating, we're on 26. Don't think I can do anything else this round. Okay then, so production. We produce 26 plus three, so 29 money. Nothing, nothing. One more plant, which makes eight. The energy slides over and we make eight more of that. And we make six heat. So not quite enough there to do it twice, but still, we're, we're doing okay with that, I think. So we're on generation 10. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any cards because I'm gonna start being able to get some free, two free every turn. Unless there's something amazing, of course. Requires two cities in play. Increase your money production one step. Could be worth it, it's quite cheap. And there are, there's three cities in play because two started out from uh, just set up of a solo game. Increase your heat production seven steps. <laughs> That's very nice, but it's very expensive. Sabotage, just do something bad to someone. <laughs> That's what that card is. Uh, Luna Beam, decrease your money production and increase your heat and energy. I don't think I want those. Do I want this? Increase your money production. No, I think I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so I have to put out medical lab, don't I? Because we need that science symbol. It's unfortunate because we could do with one more brown symbol, but we just haven't... But we just haven't drawn them. So, 13 money, 13 money, and we can put that out. Increase your money production one step for every two building tags you have, so I can increase it. Oh, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wasn't looking over there. So we can increase it three steps. We are fine. So we're gonna get six extra money on top of whatever our terraforming rating is. Speaking of that, let's increase the heat. And we've got eight plants, so let's put another greenery tile out. And let's just surround this, get two free plants. Which increases the oxygen, and our terraforming rating is 28 now. Can we do anything else? Yes, we shouldn't have this cube on there. We can spend four energy to get another titanium and increase the oxygen again. That's on seven now. And terraform race is 29. We'll increase the temperature for free when we do it again. Unfortunately, we can't afford that yet. Or we can afford this. Place an ocean tile, decrease your money production two steps, and increase your heat production three steps. Might be worth doing rather than waiting. It's a shame about losing the money. And then next time we can do AI central and start getting cards out. I think let's do that. So 15 out of the 16 money that I've got. Decrease. 
our money back down to four extra. Place an ocean tile. Now these can go anywhere on the you know the displayed places. We could get some uh, steel, and then we'd get a four discount on placing the AI central, or we could just get some free cards, or we could get some free titanium, and then that's six more money off this. Yeah, let's put it down here. Terraforming rating goes up, we're on 30 now, and we get two free titanium. We're already generating some sorts of this. I've got five now, so that's 15 money off this, and I can use the titanium to discount the action as well. So I think that's it for the round. Let's take all of this off and do production. So we've got 34 money coming in. Nothing, nothing, one plant. Maybe we'll get to another greenery tile. Uh, oh, energy slides over. Oh, and we make eight more. And we make six heat. No, no, we didn't finish this, did we? Uh, we? We reduced the money, but we didn't increase the heat. We make nine heat. Okay, generation 11, not long left. I don't think I've won this. We can be paying money though to put ocean tiles out. So what have we got here? Look at the top three cards of the deck. Take one of them into hand and discard the other two. Don't care about that. Uh, place a city, decrease the energy production and increase your steel production. Don't care about that. Pets. Grass would increase the plant production. Is that worth having maybe? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's probably worth having. But what, one thing we need to do is get this out because it needs to start generating stuff. So let's use all of this as discounts. So that's 15 discount, isn't it? So we need to pay 10 to put that card out. And then let's pay 12 to, uh, to use its action. Place an ocean tile. So we've got to put nine of these out, so I don't feel like there's time. Uh, we can get a free titanium, so that would be a three discount. Maybe we should get cards, though. Yeah, I'm going to try and get some cards. Let's see if that works out. So two free cards. What do we have? Optimal arrow breaking. When you play a space event, get three money and three heat. A bit late for that. Open city. Increase money production four steps. Get some plants. Could be okay. So what else do we have there? We have 15, 16, so let's increase the temperature twice. Boom, boom, terraforming rating goes up to 32. We can do the ore processor, can't we? Spend four energy and get a titanium and increase oxygen again. So that in turn increases the temperature, which gives me another terraforming, so I've got 34 terraforming rating. We could have spent that, um, that's a discount there really, couldn't we? And had three more money. Would I have been able to do anything with that three money? I could have actually, I could have put the grass out. I don't know if that helps. It gets us more plants and we're still a ways off on the oxygen. Let's just do it. So. We're saying we spent that and we had three more money. So that means I've got two money left over. Increase the plant production to two, and I get three plants. I think that's it for this round. So, production is 34, 38 money. I don't make steel or titanium still. I do make two plants now at this late stage. And let's see, the heat goes over, and I make eight. Oh, the energy, I mean. And for heat, I make nine. So we can do that twice as well, again. Okay then, generation 12. What can we buy? Anti-gravity technology, uh, discount on cards, but it's too late. Uh, observatory would be nice, but it's a bit late. Next card you play is eight less. But lose a point. Spend any amount of energy to get that much money. And none of those help me get ocean tiles out. 
but getting a discount on cards. It loses a point, but it doesn't feel like we're going to win, so uh, let's go for it. Let's get that so we can get a discount on cards. So we'll play this and get an 8 discount on this. So that is... Why can't I work that out? That is 13 it costs to put that out. None of these have been used yet. Let's use this to draw two cards. Let's see, after you pay for a standard project, gain three money. Oh, here we go. Gain two plants, raise oxygen level, and place an ocean tile. Okay, let's, well, while thinking about things, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we've got enough plants. So let's put a greenery tile out up here. And oxygen goes up. 35 on the terraforming rating now. We can do one, two, three, four, five, six. We can do the heat twice. So let's do that as well. So we're on minus two. We're very close to being able to get a free ocean tile. Maybe we can do this. I don't know. I think we'll do this. So spend four energy to get a titanium and an oxygen step. So that's on 10 now. We can use the titanium, so this only costs nine. And use this action to put an ocean tile out. So what can we get? We can get cards. It's probably, so we can get cards, plant, we can get a card, plants, or two steel. I think maybe just get the plants and try and accelerate that. Two plants. And we get a terraforming rating for putting the ocean out. What else can we do? We've got 15 money. So not enough to do this. We need 18 for the aquifer. Is it worth putting this out? After you pay for a standard project, you get three money. So as long as I did that, I would have to do it more than twice. I'm not sure I'm gonna do that for it to pay off. I could just discard these and then I'd be able to afford to put an ocean tile out. I think I'm going to do that. Let's do that and spend all of the money. And let's put another ocean tile out. How many more have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Uh, we could draw a card. Yeah. We get carbonate processing. Decrease your energy production, increase your heat production three. I think we're going to be okay for heat, aren't we? I think that's it for the round. I don't think we can do anything else. Okay then, so let's refresh all of the actions. Money. We are now on 40 terraforming rating, so we get 44 money. No steel or titanium, two plants. Slide that over, eight energy. And nine heat. Okay then, round 13 of 14. Okay, it requires five ocean tiles, increase plant production. Spend eight heat to increase terraforming rating. I don't really care about that. Put some more of this out. It's ocean tiles though that I'm thinking about more than anything. No, I don't care about these. So let's use my action to draw two cards. Anything about oceans? No. That would give me some titanium production, which would help me afford doing this more. I think we need to put this out, I think. Do this event, towing a comet. So 23 that's gonna cost. And we gain two plants. So we've got six there. Raise the oxygen level a step. And our terraforming rating is 41 now. 
and place an ocean tile. So let's play, we could place this. We could place this down here and we would have enough plants to be able to increase the oxygen again. I don't know if that helps though. If we put, I'm gonna place it here and get the two steel because we've got a few things using steel. Maybe it would help to have one of those out. We've got 13 heat, so let's just spend eight of that to increase the temperature again, which puts an ocean tile out, which can go on one of the plant spaces and get me the two plants that I was thinking about. And that increases the rating as well. Okay, let's spend those eight plants and put a new greenery tile out. Uh, it has to be adjacent, doesn't it? So that gets me one more plant and increases the oxygen and my terraforming rating to 44. And that's done with, isn't it? I think, I think I did those things. Okay, we can spend four energy to get a titanium and increase the oxygen. So we're on 13 there, we've nearly done that. But we've still got three ocean tiles to put out. And one, two, three, four steps on this temperature track. Okay, with the titanium we've got, it costs nine to be able to do this. So place another ocean tile, and what can we get? The most we can get is two plants. Increases the terraforming rating though for doing that. I think we're gonna put this carbonate processing out, and let's use these two, steel, to decrease the value by two each. So four, I need to pay two real money. Decrease the energy production, but increase the heat production three. One, I'll have to put another one out two, three. This would help us, this would get us titanium. Let's see, I'd have to pay six, but it would get me titanium, which is three, and an extra money, which is four. I'm just thinking we're only gonna have one more round, so that's not gonna be worth it, is it? It's better to just save the money. And just sell these, really. Two money. Okay, it's looking a bit shaky. We've got a lot of things built. Is it gonna be enough though? I think, ironically, it might be temperature that holds us back out of everything. I thought we were doing really well on temperature, but I think we might be able to get everything else done but that. Okay then, so, terraforming rating is on 46 plus four, so that is a nice 50 we're getting. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing, nothing, two plants. That slides over, seven more on there, and 12 more on here. Free up all of the actions, and move on to the final round. One, two, three, four. So anything that gives us stuff. Decrease energy to increase money, no. When you play a science tag, you can draw cards, no. Add microbes to other cards. Increase heat production four steps. Place this on a thing. No, none of those any good. Let's use the action and draw two cards. When you play an event, get three money. Would have been nice. Gain a money for each event ever played by all players. Ooh, I, th I think they're discards, to be honest. So let's play this. Spend four energy to gain a titanium and increase the oxygen. So we are max oxygen now. We've done that goal. Let's spend this and then nine money to do the ocean thing and place another ocean tile out. So what space have we got? There we go, two plants. We don't really need the plants because we've got the oxygen done. Okay, we've got 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, not enough to do it three times, but we can do it twice with the stuff we've got available here. And then we need 28, 46 money. We can do it. 
okay, we're going to get a rubbish score, but uh, we didn't lose, and I thought I was going to, because we can use the standard projects. I've got enough money to do it, I think. So let's pay the 18 to put the ocean tile out. And we might as well get a plant. Let's spend 28 to do the asteroid twice. And there we go, we're up to the top on there. One, two. We're nowhere near uh, enough to be able to get a city or something. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get many points. I think we've only got minus points on these cards, I think. But anyway, I'm surprised that I even won. So, so we can do production, but there's not really any point because we can't spend it. The only thing we can spend is greenery. We can, we can put that out, but we can't put any greenery surrounding our city. So we will just leave that. So your score at the end of the game is your terraforming rating, which at the moment is 51. Awards and milestones aren't in this. The map, each greenery tile is worth a point. So, oh, actually, it's worth putting one out then, isn't it? I can't generate enough to get more than one greenery tile, but it's worth putting one out because it's a point. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six greenery tiles were put out by me. So that puts me on 57. And then every city is worth a point for each greenery around it. So my city, one, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't matter who owns the greenery. So five more for that city. And let's see, <laughs> let's just destroy my little tablet. Oh, these cards gave points. It's a nice little surprise. Minus one though, cancel that one out. Uh, oh, that's a point. Oh, oh, I've got a conditional one. I didn't even realize. Have I got any other Jovian? Oh yeah, we, we remember that. Yeah, I should have kept that other Jovian card, shouldn't I? So that's worth no points, actually. Oh, what a mess. Still worth a point, yeah. For one Jovian target, not every two. Oh. Well, that's worth three points, the search for life. So that was really nice. And then, yeah, we lost a point for that. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, 67. That's good enough for me. Uh, hopefully I haven't done anything too wrong there, but that is the solo game of Terraforming Mars and uh, ignore all of the mess and stuff. Uh, so I hope that gives you a good idea of what the game is like generally, uh, for solo play at least. Uh, if you'd like to know what I think about it, you can click the link on the screen, but thank you very much for watching everyone. And I'll see you for the next game. Bye.